I thought so. Shuichi. Answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door, just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious, the way Rantaro was acting. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. But that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. So he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered, and that's when this picture was taken. If that is the case, we must find the reason why he noticed the camera. You're confusing everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? Right. And the answer is in this picture. Is that a shot of somebody throwing the ball? Oh my god! Is that actually? I see. Suichi knows. The reason... The camera flash. I get it. Oh my god. Because of the flash, right? The flash? Yes. The flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have. Remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. This is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And this is the picture of Rantaro. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. Because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? No. It's no mistake. There was an objective here. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? To take a picture of the mastermind. No? Oh, shit. I get it. The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. 
strange. Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. What? Mm -hmm. Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? <laughs> the culprit of this incident is... Wait. One person able to set the flash on the camera. Kaede, I... It's okay, I know you're not the culprit. Okay, that's what I thought! It's alright, I know. I just need you to calm down and say it. Oh, it's Miu! No, that's wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, no, it's... What? One person... One person that knew the flash of the camera. We won't give up. The culprit of this incident is... Okay, good. What? No way, it's- we're not going this route already. Okay, good. Like... Are we saying it's ourselves? Because it's not. Are we falling into this lie even more? No doubt about it. What the hell? Why are we pitfalling our own lie? What the fuck? Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? What the fuck? But you can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. What the fuck? I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. What the fuck? Kaede, I know what you want me to do. That's so cool. The hell? It's cool, but...
Kaede is the culprit. What the fuck? Huh? Excuse me? Wait, was the whole line mechanic actually utter BS? And it was just because we were the culprit? Kaede did it? Wait, that's not possible. Right, Kaede? Wait, did she really? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding? Bruh! Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Psh, come on, guys. Like I could. Bro! When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Yes, no way Kaede could be culprit. Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? What the fuck is happening? My hands are only strong enough to play piano. Then accusing you of being the culprit is... <laughs> yep, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. What the hell? Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. I understand, Kaede. You want me to reveal the truth, don't you? I think everyone's afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find out the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose the path. You won't even know what path you're on. So fight for the truth, even if it's frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength from of others who will be there to help you. Oh, I didn't even catch that! The strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping and let that be your strength. I didn't catch that in the wording. No, I'm not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. What the hell did you just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Of course I am. What the hell? Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot put ball should become clear when you consider where she used it. Where she used the shot put ball? She set it up in the AV room? Huh? What? I lost you guys. Kaede wants me to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. So I cannot back down. I need to fulfill her wish. I might... I need to fight for the truth. I have an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede never saw Rantaro. How she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Rantaro was killed in the library after all. That's the only explanation. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. I will find the answer. I have an alibi. It's not though. 
Oh, the white noise! We haven't used the was ball yet. I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede never saw Rentaro. And how she kill him? Proving that I was the killer is so weird. Where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the water. No. If Rantara was killed in the library, it's obvious the shot was used there. We, If you don't agree, Shuichi, then I want you to present evidence to persuade us. I have an alibi. When Rantara was killed... Watch with Shuichi. But weren't we on lookout together? Okay, but was that enough time for me to do anything? The truth can be found elsewhere, don't you agree? What? This is bad. I've made too many mistakes. Are we actually changing our protagonist? Is everyone suspecting me? Done debating already? Well, next part is mandatory voting time, blah, 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 yeah. This really the end? We can't let it... What the hell is happening? I'm so... I'm getting thrown off by this thing. Wait, what, what, how is the ball... How is the ball? I was wrong! Did I overthink the crap out of this because Kaede did her thing? Alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom oh, with Shuichi. The library. Killed in the library is true. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. Okay, so it's basically telling me that's not what I'm arguing. If I tell was good in the library, it's obvious the shot was used there. Couldn't she have used the vent? Rantaro was killed in the library after all. Oh, that did count. Okay, so it's nothing to do with wow. We finally, I think, got our 10 minutes in one mini game. <laughs> With Shuichi. I am bumbling about right now. Do we, I, we, there's no way we would have to lie right now. I have a oh no. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, he died instantly, so yeah. We know that it was in the library. But it was in the library. We know that it was in the library. That's wrong! There. I, okay, wow. I. Good job, me. Kaede didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom where we were keeping watch. I literally said. Okay. I hate what I literally said exactly what we were talking about and just didn't prove it wrong. Love it. She just dropped the ball in the vent. I literally said that. Hold on. How could she have hit Rantara with a shot from a different floor? She rolled it. Yep. She rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit Rantara. I am skeptical that she could perform such a feat of accuracy. So it was a magic shot put ball? Yeah. That's not possible. It is possible. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems you already knew about that. I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't want to know. 
but I can't turn away from the truth. The place she rolled the shot football to move it from the classroom to the library. I know this. When you deduce a keyword, you will be thrown into Hangman's Gambit 3. version 3.0. The objective is to select the right letter orbs in the right order to create the keyword. Press A to activate a flash bot and read the eliminated orbs. Um, while the letters are eliminated, you will not be able to actually select the letter orb. Make sure you remember where they are and hit the Y to get the letter R orb. But remember, you have to select them in the correct order. Deduce the keywords from the letter orbs that you can see the flash bot in. The flash bot uses focus energy, so use it wisely. Waves of light will also occasionally cross the screen so you can read the letter orbs then. So take advantage of that as well. Thank you for listening. Bet. <laughs> if you were to roll the shot in there, it would reach the library. I see. That air duct connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct, and comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. But how could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The books. The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. So it was just a coincidence? No, she stacked the books. What kind of coincidence is that? Hmm, what a mystery. No, I already know that answer as well. There's no coincidence. The culprit set this up that way intentionally. If I remember correctly, there was something off about her then. Damn it, how did I not realize it? I, yeah, I thought that was weird, but what? It's too late to regret the past. I said I wouldn't back down. I made a promise. We're gonna go on about that too. Okay, cool. Stacked books, cool. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's impossible. It's not like it started rolling on its own fell off the bookcase onto Rantaro's head. Maybe the shot was on the floor. Wait. Oh, this doesn't take health anymore. Over, causing him to hit his head on the bookcase? Lol. Watch out so you don't slip and fall. I'm going to be annoying. Corpse moved on its own. That didn't happen. Like he was standing under the vent when the shot hit his head. It will probably hit me he later. A few steps before he finally dropped dead. Hey, Shuichi. Don't lose sight of the truth. It's not the fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's impossible. It's not like it started rolling off the chain. I agree. It's just like we almost said. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on Rantaro's head. It rolled along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. They used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? Ah. It would be easier to explain with a floor plan of the library. Oh, that's right. Someone did have a floor plan. In fact, that might be the concrete proof to my theory. I remember who had it, Mew. That's it! Mew, I recall that during the investigation... You said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. with that ha, I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches then let's look at it maybe we all find clue please Mew 
Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine, but now you owe me one. Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies. There it is. It's just as I thought. Hmm? What is? See? The books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. Oh! Shuichi is right! Indeed. They are stacked like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes. I'm sure of it. The shot was rolled into the classroom vent and came out in the library. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. And you did that, right, Kaede? You made sure the vent was open. I pushed the grate into the duct, then lifted my body and looked inside. Oh, look! Could a person... Uh, oh. So how does it look? Could a person fit in there? Um, it would be pretty difficult, but you could maybe be able to crawl. Impressive. You have a really good memory, Shuichi. When the shot came through, the stacked books made it change direction. It then rolled down the path made by the books. The books were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. At the same time, the books blocked the shot from view. Then, when the ball was directly above Rantaro, it changed direction, rolled along the groove of the open books, and, fe and fell on his head. Wow! And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. A setup that complicated is almost like a Rube Goldberg machine. So Kaede created this mechanism? Well, it would be... Wait, even with the Rube whatever setup, when did she roll the ball into the duct? That's right! Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? When did Kaede roll the chocolate ball? It has to have been at just the right time to kill Rantaro. Kaede rolled the shot. What? Damn it! When she was leaving the classroom? No. What? Really? The moment we ran out of the classroom. When the sensor went off, I ran out first. And then Kaede followed. But just before she left. Shuichi, the receiver. Someone moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede. Shuichi sprinted out to the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I'm right, aren't I, Kaede? Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all that. Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on, don't just jump to conclusions. I've still got a lot of questions. <laughs> That's weird. Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. Yeah, going to not believe it either. What? Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. Moving bookcase, stack books, Rantaro's belongings, I wanting to shop a ball. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. 
I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of noise. Indeed, so much noise. I mean, come on, we're not yeah, some noise ain't a big deal. All kinds of big deal. <coughs> I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubt? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of hell. That shot put was real heavy. You say it rolled down the vents, while it would have or what would have made a loud rocket. Well, yeah. Uh. I refuse to believe that Kai. Kai is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubt? Doubts about the noise, of course. Is it the same? It's gotta be. It's the statement before. That's wrong. V counter. The murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. So the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Oh. So that ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. What? Kaito, are you done now? <laughs> yeah. Damn it. So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. That's freaking crazy. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Um, there are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end and cluttered with stacks of books. This is nothing. As I moved up the ladder, I reorganized the books bit by bit. Geez, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. Huh, I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Kayere, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but this, really, it's all right. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. Shuichi was already at the door at the, of the warehouse waiting for me. Oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. So you were hiding it the entire time? Where would she have even hidden it? Where did Kaede keep it? It could be only in... Or it could be in only one place. Kaede. She says it's her backpack, but I don't trust that. That's it. Oh, okay, it is. Okay. I didn't I needed didn't want to overthink. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. That clears it all up, then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! No, something still doesn't fit. Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Huh? 
You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder in cold blood is just not in her character. I truly believe that. I believe in her. But why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. I know this is getting crazy, right? But it's time for another tutorial. Your opponent is on the ropes, but they are in an argument armament. What? Armament mode. And won't listen to you. You have to remove their arguments to refute what they are saying. That is how argument armament works. The objective is to destroy all of your foe's arguments and strike with the finishing blow. If you match the rhythm, you you match the rhythm to shoot down your opponent's statements to damage their arm armament. The markers on top of your opponent's statements are called rhythm sights. Right when the gauge makes one revolution, press the correct button to shoot the statement. When damaged enough, the armament will break and the music will change. The tempo will also pick up matching, so match the timing. If you can't get rhythm, try using fever time. During fever time, you will be invisible and can press anything. <coughs> but you can only activate it when it's full, so watch carefully. But when your opponent's argument is destroyed, you can give your roar one final argument. Your argument will be displayed in, with four words assigned with A, Y, X, B. You have to press them in the correct order for the final blow. Using split second logic to refute your opponent's final argument. As always, it was a pleasure. You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. You think I wouldn't do it? It's all my fault! You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. You think I wouldn't do it? Rantaro. That's the truth of this case. And that's all there is to it. I'm a terrible murderer. I betrayed everyone. I'm the one who killed oh, Rantaro. What? Please stop. Just stop. Remember what I told oh. you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away from the truth! Please stop! Just stop! Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away from the truth. Please stop. Just stop. Final blow. Do you know what I was trying to do? 